Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome to the Unconventional Homestead. Today I'm filling Nellie, our freeze dryer, with eight pounds of cauliflower rice. I bought organic cauliflower rice at Costco, two big bags, it was 10 pounds. They had 10 individual packages in them and I used eight of those because I couldn't have fit any more. I usually try to get um, two and a half pounds on each tray, but it just, it did not work. But I pre-froze these last night. Oh, they've actually been in a few nights. I try to have a few jobs freezing at a time. I made ice cream last night and put it in my silicone tray, so that is freezing. So I'll be doing that sometime this week. Have you ever done ice cream in your freeze dryer? There we go. Let me put my door pad on. And I have the drain valve closed. And we just press start or continue, sorry. There's my camera. My Blink Home security system is used more for watching the garden and watching Nelly. And I can, I can look at Nelly during the day at work. So it's wonderful. I'll link it below. Super easy to set up. And uh, I love it. We'll see you back there. So Nelly is done. She has 36 hours on the cauliflower rice. This was the batch that I pulled out a few days ago. Now, for my Harvest Right medium freeze dryer, I always add 24 hours dry time. Why do I do that? I work outside the home, number one. Number two is, what if it, go, what if it gets done drying in the middle of the night? Or what if it gets done drying when I'm at work? Or what if it gets, life happens. We had a family emergency at the beginning of the year and I had to quickly leave town. My freeze dryer was going and guess what? I got back and I was, and it was fine. It was still running on extra dry time. So to me, it is my insurance policy to add 24 hours. Now I knew at one o'clock this afternoon when I was sitting at work that this was done, that it was on extra dry time. But the other thing is I came home, I had to put my lunchbox away, I had to get dinner made, and so now I'm down here and I am going to unload my four trays of cauliflower rice. I will um, put it all in mylar with oxygen absorbers. I've already labeled the bags um, because I'll only have one that we'll be using. Anthony and I use cauliflower rice a lot and I have to tell you, this freeze dried beautifully. So I will be doing that more often because I get our organic rice at, um, or excuse me, organic cauliflower rice at Costco. And sometimes they haven't had it. So I'm gonna get a few more bags. It's been really easy to dry. And now's my downtime. We're waiting for the garden to get started. I'm waiting for harvest time. So now's the time for me to go to Costco, for me to um, order from Azure Standard, wherever I can get food that we like, that we don't grow, I will be getting to do in our freeze dryer. If you watched mine on repurposing the canned zucchini, you knew that I had to do a little fix on the top of my trays. And now my machine is running better than it has in a long time. I didn't realize it was running bad, but drying time has been a lot shorter, which is super nice. So let's get Nelly um, off here and get her unloaded so that we can uh, defrost overnight. And then my next one, I'm gonna bring you along, is ice cream bites. I am so excited. I already have them in a silicone mold. They're in the freezer. So I'll pop them out and get them on trays for the morning and we'll put four trays of homemade ice cream in Nelly. We 
haven't done, in fact, we've done no treats for us. I've done a little bit of candy for my nephews who live here in town. Um, but I did one batch of Skittles and one batch of Jolly Ranchers and they haven't asked for any more. And I have a lot of Jolly Ranchers left. But I thought if they don't ask, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so what I always do is pull them out and make sure that they're warm because you definitely want everything to be warm. It's counterintuitive. So I have this eight quart Cambro. It's rectangle and it just fits the trays in perfectly. It's almost like styrofoam, like it's gonna blow away. So I think I said this when I put it in that um, the Costco rice is I think five, yeah, five pounds, and it has five bags in each. And um, so I had gotten two bags because I'm like, oh, that'll be perfect. It's 10 pounds. Well, I could only fit two bags on each tray. So it's actually um, uh, like nine pounds. Whoops. And of course, the day I don't wear my apron is the day that. Anyway, so here it is. I'm going to put it in some mylar. These are from uh, Brian, retired at 40, his freeze drying supplies.com. Ooh, I made a mess. I'm usually a little bit better than that. But I got stuff falling and good thing. I always wash this table so that if I do make a mess, I'm able to just quickly clean it up. on this um, four pounds. I'm gonna pull you up so I can actually see what I'm doing. Four pounds of cauliflower rice. Over four, four and a half pounds of cauliflower rice in each of these bags. Then I have new oxygen absorbers. And these are a little, I got these from uh, Harvest, right? But hopefully, those sealed up here in a minute. Okay. So here's um, the screen. I always do no defrost, but I could have done more dry time or defrost. So wait until your all four trays or however many trays are emptied. So I will just reach around and turn this off and I will allow it to defrost by itself. This is my impulse sealer. And I'll pull it back here. You see that light will go off and it has sealed. I always seal it three times.
there we go. Thank you for stopping by the Unconventional Homestead and watching the results of our cauliflower rice being freeze dried. I hope that you'll stop back and check out our freeze dried ice cream. That is going to be awesome, or at least I hope it is. And until next time, make sure you're preserving your food.